Welcome, believer, roll over. Great treat for you. We're in the home of Bishop Levi and Marjorie Robinson, and I have with me Bishop here. He's going to pray with us today, so you're going to find some wisdom like never before. Been in the gospel. How long, Bishop, would you say you've been in the ministry? Well, pastoring, I've been 32 years. 32 years. But in the ministry itself, being saved, I'd say about 35. 35 years. Mm -hmm. So you're not talking to a novice. You're talking to a, a, a very, a, what I call a veteran in the gospel, a seasoned saint. And so you got someone that's going to be praying with you, and we're going to believe God. We said this morning we were going to piggyback on what we talked about this morning, where it says put the word on it. Then we got to church and had a, a, an awesome opportunity to, to minister in Bishop's church. Love to do it as we always come back and love the people, love him, love the hospitality. People receive us well. And we talked about it's not a coincidence. And we're going to try to tie those two things together as we begin to pray for you. Amen. Understand that we have an adversary, and he doesn't like what you stand for. He doesn't like the God you serve, and he definitely don't like you. Amen. But Jesus said he comes to kill, steal, and destroy. And, destroy. and so mm -hmm. what we're going to do is we're going to set a hedge of protection around you with the word and with prayer. For the Bible declares that the affection, fervent and prayer of a righteous man availeth much. And we come to avail some things to give Jesus glory. And so we're going to pray, get in the word, build up on it, and then we're going to put the word on it like we talked about this morning. We say we taught it this morning, then we're going to put it into application. And so we have the benefit of having our spiritual leader with us, our spiritual father, who is going to begin to minister on your behalf, pray with you. Uh, we're just going to believe that God's going to give us the victory. So let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus, yes, Lord. Lord, we thank you <clears throat> for this awesome opportunity to minister to your people. We thank you, Lord, that your word is supreme. Yes, Lord. We understand that by faith, the world was framed by your word. We thank you, Lord, that your word is forever settled in heaven. And thank like you, Like we said Lord. this morning, if the word is settled in heaven, the word will settle the issue. And tonight we come to settle some issues in the Holy Spirit. We pray that he will move and take over us. We yield ourselves as willing vessels under his auspices that he may speak through us and that we may bless your people. But you said, feed my sheep. And Lord, that's what we're here to do. And we're here to heal the sick as you commanded us. So Lord, we speak the word. And there are people, oh God, that are not here. But Lord, you're not governed by distance, time, or space. But you declared in your word that you sent your word and healed them. And tonight, we send not our word, but your word mm -hmm. right there at the point of need, right there to lay contact vocally to speak words of life, words of deliverance, words of healing in Jesus' mighty Jesus name. So, name. Lord, I thank you that you will set your grace upon us, me and my pastor, that we will be able to speak, God, words of life full of spirit and truth, and we give you praise. Bless the hearers, O oh God, of the word. Bless those that receive. And, Lord, we pray, any that have any unbelief, Lord, help their unbelief that they can receive from you. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. So, Amen. we talked about this morning putting the word on it. There are situations that we deal with that are challenging. And, and like we preach at the church, it's not a coincidence. Amen. Amen. Peter said, be vigilant, be so before you have an adversary who goes about walking as a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour. He's looking to attack you. But here's the good thing. While he's walking, the Bible said, God's is running. He said, the eyes of the Lord run to and fro throughout the whole earth, looking for that one whose heart is perfect toward him, that he may show himself strong. And God wants to show out on your behalf. And so if you have a need, you are a prime candidate to receive from God. So what is it that you have need of today? He said, take no thought what you shall eat, what you shall drink, because your heavenly Father already know what you have need of, and all you have to do is seek That's the kingdom. Yes, Lord. His righteousness and mm -hmm. all these things will be added unto you. Thank you, Lord. Whether it's healing, deliverance, Thank you know, Jesus. salvation, most of all. Mm. We talked about this morning. Yeah, you can put a word on it, but there is also an extra uh, step you need to take, the first step. And that first step is, if you abide in me and my word abide in you, you can ask what you will. A lot of people won't abide in, won't abide in the word, but they're not abiding in him. And mm. the word ain't working for them. Mm. So we must come in, come into the kingdom, abide in him. Just like the vine. He said, you know, you are the branches, I'm the true vine. You know, hey, abide in the vine. So we want to abide in God. So mm. make no mistake about it. We don't want to give any reservations to the adversary, giving no place to him. So there's some things we just got to come out. There's some things that we just got to let God have his way. There's some things that we just got to surrender to. And I think the church is getting to the place where some of us just don't want to totally surrender to God. And when things go wrong, we ask the question, why well, bad things always happen right, to me? Right, me. Well, we, when we, if we give place to the devil, <laughs> he's going to come in and run roughshod over your life. 
but you can set a standard against him. Mm -hmm. You can use your mouth and stop the devil in his place. Amen. You need to make sure that you're walking in the right standing with God, knowing that you are the righteousness of God through Christ Jesus, but you got to be Lord of your life. So we can't play with this thing. You can't be halfway in the church. The devil knows who's God. The devil knows who has dominion. The devil knows who's operating in power. And he will come after you. Now, he's not taking any chances because he don't know if you're playing or not. Mm -hmm. Now, God knows because he knows the heart of man. Mm -hmm. But the devil don't know. So he's coming at you full force. And don't think it's a coincidence if you all of a sudden get sick. We're talking about a man right here that's been on the front line. See, we need to pray for our pastors. Need to pray for those that are on the front line because the devil said, if I can take him out, you kill the head, you'll destroy the body. That's why a lot of pastors get, uh, get attacked. And, but you see, uh, you were looking at a man of God that have gone through fights, gone through mm -hmm. to, you know, troubles and trials and tribulations, mm -hmm. been tried in a fire. I don't know oh, how many times, yeah, many but it's time, come out, time. it's pure gold. Mm -hmm. So the wisdom that he's going to give you is going to encourage you. We're going to pray. There may be some of the things that you have went through and you know you're saying, well, hey, my mother went through it, my grandmother went through it, my grandfather went through it, and they all lost. Well, you got some people that have won. The men through some things, you're going to find out that God is a winner if you just totally trust him. And it's not about having great, tremendous faith. It's just trusting in God, simply trusting in God. Do we say that we always say the right thing? No, we don't. But there's something in us that always trust in God, that the Holy Ghost say, even when our mouth gets flipped, God, why you ain't did this? God, why you ain't do that? And the Holy Spirit coming. come in. And when you finally shut your mouth, say, uh, this is what you need to do. This is what I've done for you. This is what you need to do. And he always corrects us and reprove us and put us back on the right track. And then he always brings the breakthrough. Yes, so Lord. I just want to, what I want to do is you, I want to just give Bishop a little chance to give you some of his testimony. You think you've been through something? <laughs> oh, I'm here to tell you that you have a God that's able to do all things. And you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. Because you got somebody here to give you a testimony, just some of the things that he went through. So I'm going to tell you, there's nothing too hard for God. Nothing. Nothing too nothing hard. Too hard. Big Bishop, just tell us some of the things that God has gave you the Jesus. victory over. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. I'd be glad to, Pastor Campbell. Uh, I just want to thank God for, first of all, having this opportunity to just say something to you. Amen. Amen. Because it is God's good pleasure to bless us. Yes. To give us the kingdom. And I pray today that uh, you all, just because you get attacked by the devil, that you don't quit. That's mm -hmm. what what's keeping me going right now. Uh, 19, let's go up a little further. Uh, when I turned 60 years old, I had my first surgery. Never had had a surgery ever before until I was 60 years old. And I had to have knee replaced. That was the first attack of the enemy. The devil had me where I couldn't walk. But I trusted God, and mm -hmm. I told the Lord, I say, God, I, I know that I, I, it ain't my time to be in wheelchairs and, and on, on, on walkers yet. I know that. And so I asked God for, 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 for his power. That's something we have to ask more than the healing, but give, him that holy, give you that Holy Ghost power. Uh, I heard Pastor Camel preaching today. He, had, he said something very uh, touching to me. He said a lot of times we don't get the information we need to attack. You remember you said mm -hmm. that? Uh, you don't go grab a lion by the tail, okay? You learn information on how to use your faith. And uh, I went to the Word of God. I said, Lord, I don't want to be crippled in no wheelchair this early. Amen. And I talked to the Lord, and amen. I thought about what Sister Vickett said one time about Sebastian. She said, uh, do you want to live? And, and, and she, he said, yes. And God gave life uh, to Sebastian again. And I thought about that. I said, you know what, God? That showed me that it's a choice. You can speak life and bring life to fruition by just believing God that it's possible. You understand what I'm saying? You got to believe that it's possible. And so when I got that knee surgery, I went through it like pure gold. Uh, the man told me, say, this might make y'all laugh a little bit, but when I was getting the surgery, the man come in there with saws and, and, and screwdrivers and, 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 and long... Uh, screws. I thought he was going to go work on the house and stuff. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> he said, no, I'm fit to put all that in you. <laughs> he said, all this said go with the surgery. I said, what? Amen. And uh, he had all kind of stuff that, you know, uh, cutters and, you know, and all this. I said, okay. And uh, I said, what you going to do with the saw? He said, I'm going to saw your bone in half and I'm going to have to replace it with a metal uh, connection here. So that could have frightened me 
But I remembered the Lord. He said, Yea, do I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. Mm -hmm. I will fear no evil. For thou art with me. I had to remember that part. Thou art with me. He comforted me too, y'all. When I went through that, it. amen, I put the word on it. <laughs> and all of a sudden, this is no lie, I got a, a funny kind of joy. I mean, it felt good. I didn't care what the doctor did no more after that. And you know, it wasn't a medicine. It wasn't was. a, he hadn't given me no medicine yet. I hadn't got no anesthesia or nothing. I just got happy. My wife was in there, and the doctor looked around and told her, say, I've never seen a patient this happy before I'm getting ready to cut him open and cut his leg open and saw him and put screws in him. I've never seen no man this happen in my 20-something years that I've been a surgeon. He said, this is, this is puzzling to me. I praise God all the way through the surgery. I come out praising him. All right. The devil leave for a season, but he comes back. Mm -hmm. He came back the next year uh, with cancer. Amen. 2014. Okay. <sighs> Another battle. I went to the Lord. Like he said, put the word on it. All you got to do is put the word on your circumstance and God will take it from there. I was in the hospital. And the doctors kept coming in. and He made my wife go home because she had caught a cold up in there. He said that you got to leave. And so she left. I had to be in the hospital by myself. And uh, while I was in there, the enemy came hard. He said, you know you're going to die in here, don't you? And, and, and for a little while, I ain't going to lie with you, fear came. Mm -hmm. Fear came. And he said that uh, you, you, you're not going to make it. And so, because the doctor had told me that too a while back. He had told me, he said, with this cancer, you ain't going to make it to December, the first doctor. I went back, I thought it over, and one night the Holy Spirit came in the room where I was sleeping, and I never will forget that, about 2.30 in the morning. Mm. And he said, what did my word say, Bishop? What you always preach to other people about, the word of God. Didn't I told you I would never leave you nor forsake you? I said, yes, Lord. Didn't I told you by his stripes you are healed? I said, yes, sir, you sure said that. And man, when all that, that hit me so hard, looked like the light just shined all through the room. And uh, I'll tell you, after that time, I didn't worry about nothing else. But hey, I just saw myself getting up out that room, going back to my daily activities. And because I believed, God sent me right back to ministering and to my daily activities. But it was because of my faith that got me through. A lot of people have died with lesser stuff. Mm -hmm. Amen. Because they <laughs> caught that cancer in me close to my pancreas. You know how pancreas cancer could get. It's kind of, once you get there, it's hard. And he said, it's real close to your pancreas. And uh, he said, but we caught it. And and I said, y'all, that Lord caught it. Amen. Because I had prayed the prayer of faith. And all you got to do is just speak the word over your circumstances, over your condition. And I don't know if y'all like I am, but when I speak the word over, I get happy because I know God already did it. <laughs> I don't even think about it no more. I go to sleep, no lose, no rest. And uh, I just thank God for, for uh, the third surgery came, I think, uh, uh, with my elbow. I had an elbow surgery. I couldn't move my left arm. And uh, they had to cut, cut it all open and put plates all in my arm right here. Amen. And uh, the devil said, you'll never use that arm again. Hey, but I don't know if y'all can see me, but hey, look. <laughs> hey, man, look, at, you got to fight a good fight of faith. Come on now, amen. You tell me, God, I want you to do it. God said, yeah, but I'm giving you power mm -hmm. too. Amen. I want you to exalt that, that that power so I can get some glory. I love battling. I didn't got now. I love, I didn't got older in life. I used to hate challenges, but I love them now, man. Because I, I know that I got victory. And then, I, and God ain't going to put you in a battle that you can't win. He already know what's in you. Pray God. He already knows. So that makes me uh, confident too. So I said, Lord, I can go to sleep at night. Because the victory already been won. See, when you said that, a lot of people thought you were crazy and say, I take joy in battling. But that's what Paul said. He said, I take joy in affliction. All right now. Because guess what? I rather glory my friend because I know that when I'm afflicted, the power of God is going to rest upon me. Amen. And then I'll be strong. Mm -hmm. So the idea is that bring it on, devil, whatever you got. All you're going to do is cause the glory of God to be revealed to me. Right. And even Peter said, mm -hmm. they get not strange when fire tries to come mm -hmm. and try you to try to your faith. Yeah. That when the glory of the Lord be revealed, you can rejoice. Why? Right. God knows me. Amen. God loves me. God cares for me. 
and it was, and I remember you telling me that testimony. You you went a little deep when you told me talking about how you was feeling like you was all by yourself. Yeah. And that Marjorie yeah. had to go home. Yeah. That's past the Marjorie yeah. that is. Had to go home and you felt I'm by myself. And God said, why are you worried about her? I know she loved you, but I'm him. Mm. And I got your back. <laughs> I never leave you nor forsake you. Yes, Lord. And he gave you the joy that Pastor Marjorie couldn't give you. That yeah. Joy. He had that. to show me that. Though. And it was an assurance and a mm-hmm. knowing. They that know that God shall be strong and do exploits in his name. And from that point on, the devil couldn't come back. He couldn't come to, back. He couldn't come back and try to put nothing on you. Why? Uh-huh. Put the word on it. Now, we giving this testimony for this. Does God love Bishop more than he loves you? No. No, no respect. He person. loves you just as much as mm-hmm. he loved Bishop. Amen. And I'm going to tell you something else. It might shock you, but he loves you just as much as he loves Jesus. Mm, if you can ever get that in your head, mm-hmm. well, how can you say that? I can tell you how I can say that. John three sixteen, for God so loved the world that he gave you. No, he didn't give you. He gave his son. He made his son a sacrifice for you. Mm. And how can you? Paul said, if he gave his son for us, shall he not free to give us all things to enjoy? Richly to enjoy. He, yeah. Right, yeah. So he's giving you the best. And so I don't want you to look at Bishop's testimony and say, well, that's him. Maybe he. that's because he's a bishop. No. He's a believer just like you, mm-hmm. and God loves you just as much as he loves him. Mm-hmm. All he's looking for is someone that will give him the honor and the respect and the belief. Give him your heart and say, That's Lord, it. I believe you. I trust you. I believe you. God. And nobody mm-hmm. can say that God never came to you and gave you them same words. I'm telling you that sometimes we murmur and we complain. We get our lips stuck out, and the Holy Spirit is talking to us just like you <laughs> tell him. That's right. Didn't I tell you I never leave you nor forsake you? Mm-hmm. Didn't I tell you I love you with all my heart? Didn't I tell you with the apple of my eye? Some of you are hollering and complaining so much you are not hearing him. <laughs> He's constantly telling, hey, if you shut up, you can hear. <laughs> hey, look if you start that. complaining, mm-hmm. you will hear. Mm-hmm. If you stop murmuring, you will hear. Mm-hmm. I love you. And there's no weapon formed against you hey, that shall be that's what I'm about. And so th- this God that we serve loves us so much that he gave us his very best. You think he's going to let us sit here and suffer? No, let's take advantage of the benefits that he's given us. Bless the Lord, oh, my soul, and forget not all his benefits, benefits who loaded us up. We Daily. Daily benefits. Daily. Yeah. So, so he's not feeding you stale bread. He's not feeding you leftovers. He's feeding you fresh manna from heaven, fresh miracles daily. And it's yours. If It's yours for the asking. We just have to believe him. And I'm telling you, we that are on the front line, we go through many battles. I have to learn the art of silence. I have to. Because when the devil hits you so hard, he'll make you say, Uncle. Amen. That's but right. But you got That's to right. maintain your integrity That's and it. don't say it. Boy, you look and say, Well, Pastor Tim don't look like he go through anything. Oh, contraire. You'd mm-hmm. be surprised You'd at be the surprised. fights that we go through, <laughs> the battles that we go through. Secret The battle. devil always trying to attack. Mm-hmm. Boy, I told my wife, he said, he trying to break my leg, trying to mm-hmm. get me sick. Uh-uh, no, no. But we got to maintain Tame. this battle. And Call the fight on and do like I said in this this morning church. Uh, that's all you got. Hey, and sometimes hey. you can say, Lord, please don't let him hit me again. Don't mm-hmm. please. I can't take another lick. But you don't let him know that. You think you stand strong and mm-hmm. bluff him out. Resist him. Thank you, and Lord. He'll flee to my man. I hit him joke, joke with my best punch. Man, he's still what's standing. holding him? Well, that's right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He must, he walking in God. And so you maintain that. So the thing that Bishop um testified about knees if you got joint pain uh whether you have to get a surgery or not you're trying to debate if you don't have the faith to say okay i'm gonna just believe god no 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 you get wisdom you get mm-hmm. wisdom and god will lead you what to do mm-hmm. and you're going to come out on top here's what i tell people the doctors are not the healers they just the physician that's right amen. but the amen. great physician is the physician that's right he's the healer thank you lord and so he's the one that does the healing and a any doctor will tell you, any doctor that has been rightfully trained will tell you, we heal nobody. That's right. All we do is do medicine and we do science, and the body takes care of itself. So they say the body takes care of itself. No, God takes care of itself. So all they can give credit to is the body. Mm. And this is the thing that God has created. Mm-hmm. This body is resilient. Mm. You'll be surprised at the things that it go to. It's trying to it live sure is. all the best it yes, knows it how is. to do. It takes sickness. Yeah. It will fight sickness the very best it can. It's been set up to immune deficiency, to fight against diseases and bacteria bacteria that come in but they can only fight so much you're gonna have to put the word on it and so when you do get caught like the body that. can't re- mm-hmm. the body can't bounce back then the word begins to speak life jesus mm-hmm. said my words are spirit and life and so you can speak that life and so every time bishop got caught 
He put that word of life on it yeah. and changed the situation around. Yeah. Wisdom came on what to do, who to see, who to talk to. Because there were some doctors that you went to and they just counted you out. Sure did. Uh -huh. you, you, ain't no yeah. use where with you. You're going to be dead by December. Uh -huh. <laughs> I believe I need a second opinion. Because yeah. <laughs> I don't believe his report. Yeah. I believe the report of the Lord. Mm -hmm. He said he'll never leave me nor forsake me. Mm -hmm. So I just believe what God says. So, Bishop, I want you to just pray with those that may have yeah, joint okay. pains okay. and everything. And let's put the word on it. Let's so, do that. Let's do that and uh, praise God. And I, I mostly want to let them know, Pastor Campbell, that even though that that, that don't mean that you're such a bad person because the enemy attack you. Yes. You know, I just want you, because sometimes I must have done some sin or something. No, the devil, I heard the man of God preach that today. He say, uh, the devil coming, when you go to bragging or when you do, the, you some things, when you start living right too, it just looks like it draws the devil to you, you know. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, Look at it as a challenge, as an opportunity to win. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. You see two prize fighters, I'm for the prey. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe, how can I say this? These guys want to, they make big money with prize fights, you know, uh, uh, boxing. And that's an opportunity to, for them to make big bucks. Yeah. Uh -huh. So I'm using that as a scenario about the gospel. When the devil call you for a big fight, that's your opportunity to make big points, big mm -hmm. money. And when I say money, I don't mean in the natural. I'm talking about points in heaven. God says, show them what you got, Bishop. Show them, Pastor Campbell, what's in you, brother. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, me and the angels going to sit back. We're going to look at this. What they got. What <laughs> like they got you told them today. The yeah. Have you considered Bishop? Who walk with yeah, have I could, all that's evil. right, that's right. You ain't that way to me, way out. Yeah, way out. <laughs> me and the angels going to sit back and watch this because I know the devil ain't got no victory here. <laughs> Amen. And so use it as an opportunity to win uh, battles. Amen. The victory I already won. God ain't going to tell you he's right behind you, helping you, but, amen. but you winning victories. Uh, and so I want to pray for those who might think you have done some bad thing. No, you just, the devil, when he don't like you, that's a good sign. That means something. I heard you say that today, Pastor. It's a good sign when the devil don't like you. Now, if he like you too much, that means that he 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 think you're not hey say <laughs> amen <laughs> he worthless uh -huh. but uh I like to see people uh you know the devil get mad at people let let me know sometimes they in the right position yeah, they are they, yeah they, they yeah amen they, they I saw how he kept coming to Jesus and one last thing too for I pray after I think about my Lord and Savior Jesus how he took the cross and 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 man I tell you got beat. And and his, he he looked at, they beat him so bad that modern television don't show it the way it was really was. He said he was unrecognizable. Yeah. And I think about how he uh, was, uh, man, beaten and spit on and cursed out and couldn't tote that cross. Simon had to come help him tote the cross, mm -hmm. you know, all of that. And I, I concentrate on that a lot. I said, Lord, if Jesus could do it, I can take it too. I can take my cross. I wouldn't have believe you would give me a cross if I couldn't take it or you're going to have people to help me take it. And so I look at life in a lot of ways, and I hope you can just look at it as not uh, a per the devil just winning over you. God got this battle already made, okay? Amen. And we're going to pray, yes, praise God. Right. Father, God, to all those who may have joint pain, uh, thank the devil, uh, 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 just don't... <laughs> You know, that, that, that give glory to the devil that he doing this and doing that. He ain't doing nothing but losing because you are victorious through Christ. And don't look at no joint pain. Don't look at because your money didn't run low in your account. Don't yeah. look at none of that. Amen. Don't look at your children not acting right. Hallelujah. Sometimes you just got to give it over to God, the part that you can't contain. Give it over to God. And let him do it. And I guarantee you it's going to be done right. Holy Spirit, take over those who the doctor then told they may have a lump on their breath or, or they have some kind of condition that, amen, that they're going to probably have to have surgery. Some of them you didn't lie to, devil, because they don't need no surgery. Yes. Amen. And I believe that the power of God is moving to that person that when they go to their next doctor appointment, they ain't got to have no surgery. Do it, Lord. The Lord going to show up. The doctor going to say, what happened? I, I, I don't see that on the chart no more. Amen. I believe God is a supernatural restorer. Amen. But if you have to go through any surgery, don't look down on yourself. Yes, yes. Just keep giving God victory and glory uh, in what he's doing. Yes. Because one day, everything going to be all right. 
When you step into those pearly gates in that beautiful city of God, yes. it won't be no sickness there. Yes. No death. I was just reading the other day, don't need no light there in the city. The Lord going to light of the city going to be you. He said the light going to shine through you all through the city. Amen. What a glorious time when yes. we don't have to deal with death and sickness and disease anymore. Uh, a lot of times, many times we could have that right here, some of that heaven right here. But you got to believe God. Hallelujah. But if he don't do it on your time that you thought he should have did it, don't lose faith and courage in God because he's still going to do it. If his word said it, he going to do it. Yes. Praise God. Thank Hallelujah. You, some Thank of your you, loved ones is right yes. now, they praising God right yes. now because they've been healed. You think about the things that Job went through. I mean, he, Job lost another, lost a lot. And then his wife looked at him and said, you still maintain your integrity Integrity. toward God? Mm -hmm. Why don't you curse him and die? Mm -hmm. You done lost everything. I'm walking out, brother, because you got curses on you. I'm finna leave you. Uh, I, I can't deal with this here. You know, they say they'll stay with you no matter what. Mm -hmm. Joe White say, I got, yeah. there's a limit. Mm -hmm. uh, everything around you is dying. I better get up out of here. I better get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to be me next. Mm -hmm. And Joe said, you talked as a Foolish woman. Mm -hmm. He said, I will maintain my ticket. That's how we got to be. And like Bishop said, don't always think that, you know, Lord, what have I done wrong? The things that happened to me, have I sinned? No, you are a threat to the enemy. Sometimes it's you doing right. That's right. And it frustrates mm -hmm. him. Amen. And so what he wants to do is he wants you to do that. He wants you to turn your back on God, get angry with God. And say to destroy the relationship. It's like a jealous woman, jealous of her, her best friend who has a great marriage, and then she started lying and setting up stuff and telling her husband that your wife cheating on you. It's not that she even wants the man. She just don't like what's going on. Mm. I'm by myself, and misery loves company, and you know. And so they just destructive. That's how the devil is. The devil see you and God getting along. You done got saved, sanctified for the Holy Ghost. Hey, you love to go to about. church now. You're reading your mm. Bible. You're telling everybody you see about Jesus. Hey. And guess what? The devil comes immediately to attack your body, attack mm -hmm. your finances, attack Everything. your relationships. Mm -hmm. And you say, Lord. And you hear people testify all the time say, you know, I was leaving out in the world, have fun. But then when I got to the church, he like, oh, you know what, broke loose, baby. That's because you changed sides. Right. And you know, the one that you was walking in fellowship with now has become your enemy. Right. But know this here. You have a greater one on the inside. Greater is he. That you'll yeah. overcome the world. Great. And so if you stop accusing God and turn around and set your face to the enemy, who comes to the kill, steal, steal and, and destroy, destroy, you will win the victory because you overcome him by the blood of the Lamb and the Whoa, word of your Lord, testimony. Thank you, Jesus. He's given you weapons to defeat that adversary. Mm. Your eyes have come and open. You've been translated from darkness to light. And now he's exposed the enemy for who he is. You thought you was having fun in the club, but you just don't know you was one foot away from dead dying. Yeah, yeah, you know, one foot. You thought uh, you was having fun. That that, that, that that married man was paying your bills. You know, you got it in the shape. <laughs> he was one, you was one straight razor from dying. That's right. But and he one pulled you out head. of that and brought you into the marvelous light. Mm -hmm. And you ought to just lift your hands and say, Lord, I thank you. I thank so you, Lord. Don't Jesus, think it's strange when these things come to you. So we don't always think it's your, you doing it. That, you know, oh, man, I must be doing something wrong. No. Mm -mm. And, it's not, and also it's not that God is trying to teach you something. No. You have an adversary. And so we are putting the word on it. So another thing that Bishop talked about was cancer. That's one thing people are afraid of. Yeah. Pastors run from it. Yeah, they scared. Nobody wants to deal with it. Mm -hmm. Guess what? Cancer can be beaten. Oh, yes, it can. Can Amen. it be beaten? It could be beaten. It is defeated. The word of God is more powerful than it. We have to speak life. Right. You can't look at it. And this is what you need to understand. God is no respect of person. And that's how you ought to look at it. You say, you know what, Lord? I got cancer. Some people die, some people live. Mm. Not your fault. I just choose to be with those that live. Let me find out what they did. Amen, did. amen. They believe amen. God. They were and when the doctor came and gave them that bad news, they mm -hmm. didn't get they didn't, you know, they, they didn't act like they got upset with the doctor. Those in faith, no, I ain't got to give him that doctor. He's doing his job, you know. Mm -hmm. He do, he's doing all he knows how to do. Mm -hmm. But there is a greater physician that overrides his word. So when he's done all that he can do, now my God steps in and say, you know what? It's right. not over. All right, preacher. Over. All right. And so you can always be encouraged. So, hey, go get yourself checked out. I tell people, you need to know what you're fighting about. You need to know what you need to pray about. Don't be sitting up there being foolish saying, well, God got it all in control. And you sitting there in fear. 
Mm-hmm. Scared to die. You, yeah. You scared to go to the doctor because you don't want to know yeah, what's going on. Yeah, no you want to like go that. and find out what's mm-hmm. going on. So now you equipped with some information. All you right. know how to pray. You know what to pray for. You know how to gang gather people together. Mm-hmm. One can chase a thousand, two, ten thousand. You got don't get folks that's gonna be sympathy mm-hmm. and, and, and 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 always, you know. Let me share something. Something that, that I try to do not do, and, and I don't like it when people do it to me. I always asking you how you feeling. Because they almost forces you talk about the situation but this is what i want you to say i'm standing on the word of standing god standing on the word of god anytime something you're going through something and anytime somebody asks you well how are you feeling i'm standing on, on the, the word, word of, god. of god because if you tell them how you're feeling you're gonna say well i, well, I got i gotta tell the truth well i'm not feeling too good no you just say how you doing i'm standing, standing on, on the word, word of, god. of god okay that, therefore you have put the word on it so whatever you're doing that's the that's the word that come out of your mouth because the devil is listening. Yes, he is. Who yes, you going to agree is. with? Thank what you. What the Lord. word says or what the enemy says? Because when you when you dealing with the circumstances, well, that's not the devil, but it's it's it's, it's the natural, mm-hmm. and God's word is above the natural. So, right. Well, that don't make any sense. You know what? Just do it. Mm-hmm. If you're going to expense any energy, if you're going to expense any words, any vocabulary, just see what God's word say and watch the devil get upset. Mm-hmm. And I'm telling you. You, sometimes you just have to talk to yourself. No, but hey, right. that blessed me when I talked to Sister Kathy. Mm. That you know, it's it's a joy when you hear people that don't just listen to the word but do the word. Mm. She said, "I know this mind here. This is the biggest battle that goes on. You get a symptom. Your body tries to say you you getting you getting this. You getting that." She said, "But I talk to that body. Body, you line up." Now she said, "Her mind, you line up with what's in my head. The word of God, you line up." And she said, "It always obeys." Yeah, sometimes it just wrestles back, and sometimes it goes on for days. The battle goes on. It goes on for weeks and goes on for months. But be like Job. Maintain your integrity Integrity. and keep your faith in God. Because I'm telling you, the devil can only hold on for so long. But this is what you can't do. It's sort of like a dog, a pit bull. He grab on. Mm-hmm. And all of a sudden, his grips get to loosen. Mm-hmm. As long as you resist him, if he loses his grip, mm-hmm. all eventually it's going to break. Right. But what happens is he get that grip, and if you start wrestling, he tightens it back up. Right, right. He start losing his grip again. Mm-hmm. You give up, you stop. He gets to grab it back and mm-hmm. get tight again. I see him do it all the time. Mm-hmm. That's how the devil is. Once you stop maintaining your integrity, you stop talking the word of God, he, even though his, as you speak in the word of God, suddenly the word, his grip get loosened. But then when you start speaking, he grabs and he got enough chance to tighten back up again. He is relentless. Mm. I don't know. When saints start believing and realizing that we do have an adversary and that he it's his job to devour you, to destroy you, you're going to realize that, hey, I got to fight this joker. Mm. I got to fight him with all, right. all, all that I know how to do. Right. This thing stopped on me. Mm-hmm. And so you just got to believe and trust in that. My time. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. It's never done that before. Uh, you got to fight with all that you know how to do. Maintain your integrity toward God. Does God fail? No, he no. don't fall. He no. don't fail. He you, don't fail. You, have to worry. you don't have to worry mm-hmm. about that. He is with you. He'll never leave you nor forsake you. And you can always trust in him. So now, is cancer too hard for God? No. no. Uh-uh. It's not too hard. So, if we know that it's not too hard, then what you have to do, make this your constitution. Yes, the chemo makes me sick. Yes, I feel like I'm about to die. Sometimes I'd rather, I, I'm, I'm going to say something that's shocking. Sometimes I'd rather commit suicide because I just can't deal with this pain. I'm telling you, there are people, they, there's a disease that they call it the suicide disease because people would rather commit suicide and get rid of this thing because it's so painful to mm. them, so mm. painful. Now, those things go in your head. That's why I tell people, don't expose yourself to television and things that's going to cause right. you mm-hmm. to be weak in your spirit but mm-hmm. strong in your flesh. You're going to get things that cause you to be strong in your spirit. So when those thoughts come, those things that exalt yourself against the knowledge of God, you can pull those things down. With pull the them word. down. Like Bishop mm-hmm. said, every time the devil came, he brought the word back. He and, brought the word and, back. And sometimes the devil hit mm-hmm. you so hard, you'll forget the word. Uh-huh. But the then is when the Holy Ghost will come <laughs> and say, right. did Holy, not tell the you. The Holy Ghost will come. Did not mm-hmm. tell you. Mm-hmm. Did not tell you. And you say, you know what? Yes, Lord, you did tell me that. And it reminds us that's just how much he loves us. Mm-hmm. He'll come and remind you who he is and what he's done. And who you are to him. I'll never leave you. Nor forsake, forsake you. you. There are times when he just had to come and tell you, I love you. Mm-hmm. And that's a powerful thing well, to yeah, say. Yeah, he'll do it too. Mm-hmm. And don't be like the folks, well, if you love me, why am I going through what I'm going through? 
I remember my wife giving her testimony. He says, it wasn't meant for you to go through that. Now watch this. There are things that God gives us to warn us. It's coming. Mm -hmm. He's coming. Get ready. Get prepared. This is what you need to do. Oh, but what do we do? We keep going vicariously through our life, not paying attention. And it just, it, I think, it, this is, now this is what I say. It comes through ignorance. When I say ignorance, it's not knowing. We're not realizing that the Lord trying to get us ready. You're not, we're not realizing that he's given us warning before destruction. Mm. And, but then as we mature, we become seasoned saints. And when we Amen. get those functions Season. again, right. oh, I got to get ready. Gotta get comes ready. A fight. Amen. I got to get ready. I don't know how he's coming, but the Lord will let me know he's coming. And when he come, you will see him. Like I was sharing with the lady. Yeah, you done gave you a testimony. You've been bragging on God. I'm going to help you out. He mm. coming. He coming. <laughs> but you're going to be ready when he do. Yes, so he don't take you off guard. That you're not just walking and skipping the loo mm -hmm. of my darling. And all of a sudden he blindsides you and you wasn't ready. She wasn't ready. No, <laughs> you're going to be it's ready. Right. All so right. whenever you give God glory, you just brace yourself and say, well, I don't know how he's coming. But he's coming immediately. Yeah. Uh, he's coming to get the word. He's coming to attack me. But when he come, I'm going to see that thief. And I'm going to be ready. I'm and when the enemy comes him. in uh -huh. like a flood, God said, you'll have that standard. Mm. And I'll raise it up against him. Can, can I win. say something right yes, quick? Yes, sir. Uh, one thing, too, I want to uh, encourage you about. Don't ever get mad after a big attack. That was the purpose uh, that the devil hit you because he wants you to. You, all of those fruits of the spirit, believe it or not, in there for a reason. Mm -hmm. Temperance, you know. And uh, if you lose your temp, I'm, I'm gonna show you how to win victory. That's how I want it in the in the, not me, but the Holy Ghost working for me and through me. How I won victory through the counselor and all the other things that he tried on me. Okay, I kept a jaw for disposition. This is what God says. This is what it, that, that that's really real. What He said, the jaw of the Lord is my strength. Mm -hmm. I thought it was just a saying, but uh, 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 but but no. I'm telling you, if you get jaw in the face of adversity, can you? All that's going on in life uh, with the people, the crime, the people robbing, they stealing, a home invasion. If you can walk around with a smile and give God thanks to that, you'd be surprised how much victory you scoring and points you scoring in heaven doing that. I'm telling you, it's something about the joy going through it defeats the devil. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. That's what God looking for. Can my servant Job come out there? He said, yes, I can. The Lord, blessed be the name of the Lord. I, I read Job just yesterday, and this is what he said. It, the Bible said Job shaved his head and gave God praise. I said, Lord, look at that man going through all of that stuff. But he kept the joy of the Lord in him, you know. And no doubt in the mid wee wee hours, it, it don't ever tell you, but he probably got him went to waving his hands and thanking the Lord, you know. Mm -hmm. That's what I do. Don't ever get mad. I'm going to get a quick testimony, yeah, Pastor, and I'm going to get back to you. There was a lady that used to come to my church. I never will forget her. I know my wife know who I'm talking about. She used to come, she was on fire for God, young lady too. And uh, we have let her minister at our church. And she, you know, she teach healing and all of that. Uh, all of a sudden, cancer hit her, cancer hit her, and, and it scared her to death. But instead of fighting back, she got mad. She got so mad, she got she got very mad. She got she said, I don't want my pastor <coughs> coming to see me. I don't want Bishop Robertson or Sister Margie coming in my house praying for me. I don't want the saints over my house. I am mad. Amen. She just was mad and us and we begged her sister, let us go over there and pray for, for this young lady. Because she she just you know her she just her, she just mad right now. But I believe we could calm her down. She didn't want us at her house. She said, Don't come. I don't want none of my pastors, none of my friends at the and she was so angry, so angry inside. I don't know if she was angry at God or, or what, but long story short, that lady died. She died in her house, amen, uh, but she died angry. You know, the, you know that the way they was talking, she had an a, a anger uh, expression on her face when she died. Don't ever get like that because that's where your defeat is, when you lose the joy of the Lord. It, it's, it's a lot involving the joy of the Lord. It's a lot in that than it just... Then people just up praising God in the in, in the building, you know, lifting up holy hand, yeah, dancing. It's more to the joy of the Lord. Amen. The joy of the Lord is strength in times of trouble. And if y'all just 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 when you get into some trouble times, just put a smile and say, Thank you, Lord. Amen. So you'd be surprised how much damage you do to the devil. Mm -hmm. I've tried it. It works for me, praise yes. God. Okay, Pastor. The 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 big difference is, and I'm gonna say this, when I see people like the young lady, when I see people that go through that 
it's an indication of one thing. She didn't have the Holy Ghost. Now, well, how can you say that? Because there's something about the Holy Ghost that keeps you. He'll reprove you. He'll instruct you. He'll teach you all things. And if we don't, and, and hear me very carefully. Jesus told his disciples, don't you dare leave. Mm. Don't dare leave out of Jerusalem until you endure it with power. Mm. We have to have the Holy Spirit. You cannot disrespect him. You cannot take it for granted. He's what separates us from we that call ourselves God, the power. And she knew the word. Yes. But yes. she didn't know the life giver. Uh -oh. She didn't know the power. Yeah. Because the word will tell you, you're going to suffer some tribulation, but think it not strange. Know this here, that God will bring you through it. And for her to switch on God just like just that. Just like that. Uh -huh. Something was something was missing. Mm. She knew the word. And so that's what I see a lot of people do. As long as life going good, they can preach. They can tell mm -hmm. you what's wrong with you. Come on why now. you ain't right got now. no faith. Come on now. Where's your faith? Uh -huh. Why you living like you living? Yeah. As soon as trouble hit their house and the shoe gets on their foot, mm -hmm. they can't stand. Yeah. Now they're convicted. They feel like a hypocrite because all that faith you teaching, you mm -hmm. need to understand that your faith is going to be tried. It's, it's how you oh, come yeah. out. Mm -hmm. And so the devil got a lot of people like that because they say, oh, you preaching all that faith and power, but look at you. Look at what you're going through. Mm -hmm. And then he trips you up because you say, yeah, I've been talking about faith. Look at me. No, you rejoice because, hey, now I finally get in the fight to prove that yeah, my faith yes, is Lord. strong. Yeah. I can prove that I can fight the prove good it. fight of faith. Mm -hmm. And so I'm going to go through the fight. And so what if I have people that turn their backs on me, people that criticize, where well, it must wasn't nothing to him. He got cancer. And then they look at your bishop. I know you heard this. Yeah, I don't want him praying for me. He got sickness. Yeah, he going through yeah, this. Yeah, he going through that. Well, that's mm -hmm. the man that you want to pray for you uh -huh. because you see him go through yeah. it. And he came out on the other side. Uh -huh. A winner. A winner. A winner. That's Thank the one. Man, you need to lay your hands on me because you went through cancer mm -hmm. and you conquered it. Right. You went through uh, uh, the, uh, the, the the stiffness of your joints and you conquered it. Right. That's the man that you want. Mm -hmm. A man that's gone through some things, that mm -hmm. been through the battle, that went through the war. If you was leaving, if you was going to be out on the battlefield with a sergeant, do you want one that just graduated from high school oh, 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 or one that's been now. through the services the a couple of times? Yes, sir. How many, how many tour duties you done? <laughs> I done done five tour duties. How many people you lost in your, in your platoon? I lost nobody. I'm going with him. I want to follow him. Yeah, Amen. I don't care if he's the captain of whatever. All, right. All he did was just come from Yale and he never saw a battle. I Amen. don't care what he strategically know that he taught him in school. Yeah. I want to go through the man that had the hard knocks and had to fight. Yeah. I want to see some battle scars. Right. I want to know that he, that he actually got wisdom. Yeah, yeah. To take me through this thing. And so now for you, I'm telling you, God is no respect to person. You are battling cancer. It's not too hard. Bishops are going to pray for that. I know he mentioned a few things about dish issues in your breast. Listen, don't pull back, pull back. First of all, don't don't let the fear overtake you. No, no, never do. Don't let the condemnation mm -hmm. overtake you. Mm -hmm. Don't let those things bother you. Mm -hmm. What you do is now cast that care over on to the Lord. Mm -hmm. Cast it on, say, Lord. I belong to you. Uh, hallelujah. You have, Thank you, you have, your stripes have healed me. Thank you, Lord. And so what I need you to do is I need you to deliver me. And so here's what I want you to do. If two shall agree concerning anything, it shall be done of the Father. And so when Bishop pray, all I want you to do is agree with us that it's done. So this is what I want you to do. I want you to receive him as a prophet because the Bible says if you receive a prophet in the name of a prophet, you will receive a prophet's reward. So as a Bishop Acting on God's behalf as an ambassador, as a prophet, pray for you. Say this in your mind. Say this. Say it. I, I will say it out loud. Lord, I set myself Lord, I in agreement with the man of God, right. and when He pray for me, I agree with that prayer, and I believe we receive in Jesus' name. So I just go ahead and pray. Okay. Bishop. I'm in agreement with you. Okay, Amen. And I want all of you that hear my voice to believe God for miracles. Yes, I'm believing God gonna do. A supernatural healing yes. of miracles on you. And as I speak on myself too, any uh, infirmities that I may be followed or yes. anybody here, I believe the word of God can go around and yes. touch all of us at the same time. Yes, Hallelujah. Lord. And I just thank you for healing. You didn't let, just let us be here, Lord, for uh, just going through life. You gave us a lot of privileges. And one of our privileges is to be healed, to be set free, to be delivered, yes. to be overcomer. Hallelujah, to be the head and not the tail. Ooh, I thank you for that. And then you, and even on some of our battles, in fact, all our battles, we don't have to fight by ourselves because you gave us angels in Psalms 91 and 11. And I pray that those 
uh, all of those attributes you gave us for victory, Lord, it'd be upon the people tonight. Yes, Hallelujah. I go to sleep good at night because I know Psalms 91 and 11 is angels is watching yes. over me. And I sleep good. When a sickness or try to attack you, don't meditate on it. Meditate on these things. Yes. Whatsoever is good. Whatsoever is lovely. Whatsoever is a good report. Take your mind off of that, that negative. Amen. And don't even see it. Act like it ain't even there. Yes. Amen. And go to giving God <laughs> praise. And remember God when he got you saved, how you felt. And hallelujah. How, when you had your first child. There's a lot of things you could be thinking on. You know, uh, on good things. Along with the faith along with the faith that believe that you're going to be healed. There are other things that can just enhance you. Amen. Amen. The good times. Hallelujah. Lord, I thank you for life. And I, Oh, God, I just thank you. That's what I did when, when, he, when he told me that I had cancer. And when I came through it, by the way, this is the fifth year, cancer-free. Yes. Cancer-free, yes. five years. Hallelujah. When the yes, doctor said I wouldn't make one year, <laughs> five years. But, but here's the thing. Uh, uh, after I came through like pure gold with the anesthesia and the uh, all of that, all that stuff there, chemotherapy, all that. Listen, when I went outside, I'm almost through. When, I'm out, when I went outside, time. things wasn't the same before this cancer came. It got better. I used to look at the trees as just old tree. But all of a sudden, I saw trees beautiful. I said, man, look at them pretty green colors on the... I used to drive by and not even pay them no attention. I looked at my wife, and she always had been a beautiful woman. But when I saw her after the cancer, she even looked even more spectacular. I said, baby, yeah, I married you. Hi, I get you. Good God of my everything begin to brighten up. You know, when you go through stuff, man, I, hey, man, I start seeing things in a different light. That's why I said you got to keep the joy of the Lord with you. Amen. Because, see, I could have looked, been down in spirit all, every day, every day, every day. But, man, I started seeing life more clear. Mm -hmm. I, took, I took my infirmity or my uh, trial as a, something, a stepping stone up. And then, man, life is beautiful now. Yes, life sir. is good to me. Man, I, I, I just thank God for it. And uh, f finally this. I'm going to pray this in your life. Uh, he said, those fiery trials, I heard Pastor Camel bring them up. He said, don't think it not strange because of those fiery trials are going to try you as though some strange thing happened. But to, listen, to this is the part I want you to hear. But the trying of your faith mm -hmm. is more precious, good God Almighty, than pure gold. That means money can't compare mm -hmm. with the trial you came out. Man, it, it valuable is valuable. He said, amen. God said, look at my servant go. Good God Almighty. I can't wait to put the crown on his head or on their head. The crown of rock. I can't wait till they get up here. So I'm going to show them how many big devils they fought. They didn't see them devils. But if they had to saw what they was up against, them big Goliaths, bigger than Goliath, and them, man, they would fall out to know what kind of victory they won over them big devils. Oh, man. And uh, I had not seen nor have heard nor have entered the heart of men the things God have prepared for them that love him. Sometimes he don't want you to see, Sister Ricky. He ain't want you to see yet. But when you get to glory, he going to show you. You're going to understand it better by and by. Amen. So don't count things, uh, yes. uh, 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 you, know, you know, it's slack. Man, what you're doing is mighty. Pulling down on the stronghold, you'd be surprised. God, the devil going to try to make it look like it ain't nothing. But you're doing some powerful works, Pastor yeah. Camel, being on, the, on Facebook and, and people seeing your faith. One thing I like about you is to commit it. You commit it. Because I ain't going to lie. If I had a program on Facebook, and I'm out of town. I might close it down for that time. But this man of God, he studied goals. He studied. He could love God like that. And I praise him for that. I mean, that's, I thank God for you, man. I'm getting encouraged through that. Because sometimes I close my church down when I'm on vacation sometime or, or got to go somewhere uh, like on the holidays. And now I'm feeling guilty. I told him on the holidays that on Wednesday we ain't having no church because I said most of y'all going to be with your family. But this man is committed. He don't look at holidays. He don't look at times like that. And I'm trying to catch up with you, Pastor Cam. <laughs> <For nothing. laughs> I'm trying to catch up. I am, I am. I don't know if I had a church. I'm trying to close it, though. <laughs> <laughs> I'm watching how committed you are to your program, though. You very, he come back at night. You see, I didn't cut my night services out. I said, these folk ain't come. But you're so committed. And God got crowns, man, with, with jewels in it that you don't even seen yet. Amen. And I might ask the Lord. I said, Lord, how come I ain't got none of them pretty green ones like Pastor Camel got? 
He said, well, you, you, he had some more faith in areas you didn't have, but nonetheless, we all, you know, going to rejoice together. I thank God for it, and his wife, Miss Vicky, and, 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 and my wife, too. I just thank God for ministering where you have brought us from, from Lord. Amen. Yes. We were, I, amen. I, I hope y'all don't mind it, us saying it, but we all was, was some nothings. Yes. And, amen. And, and we was out in miry clay. Mm -hmm. And I think I would have been dead probably <coughs> right now if I hadn't received Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior because I wasn't nothing but old drunkard. Didn't want nothing out of life. Didn't care nothing about living or dying. Amen. It didn't matter. Hell wouldn't have mattered to me. But I thank you, Lord, for pulling us out of the miry clay yes. and putting our feet on the solid ground. Yeah. Now I'm so happy, Lord. I'm about one of the happiest men in the world because you saved me. And if you had not been saved and want this joy that we offering tonight, ask God for it tonight. Yes, Some Lord. people just go to church. You can't you can get that. That ain't going to get it. You got to get the inward joy that God say the fruit of the spirit is joy. He talking about some different kind of joy than when you get your income tax. Because when that run out, you ain't got nothing else left. Amen. You got to have some 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 joy down in your stomach that make you feel good when you're in trouble or, or when you're in the hospital or when the doctor say you got uh, some condition. You say, well, pray the Lord. <laughs> another victory, Lord. Another victory. I'm going to win this just like I won the others. So yes, I want you to have that kind of faith to look at it as a challenge and not a, a, a something uh, that you get mad at God about. That's all yes, I want to tell yes, you. So. You gonna go and pray with them for that? You want to close it? No, you got to. You gonna pray for we that got cancer? Time. Oh, uh, for the cancer? Yeah, whatever it is, we don't. Whatever care, we it don't is. care what type of cancer it is: pancreatic cancer, colon cancer, lymphoma, brain cancer. We don't care what it All is. All cancer. Nothing's hard. So you see what God did? You'd be surprised. A lot of people are taken out by colon cancer. Sure is. Oh yeah. A lot yes, of people yes. don't make it, especially mm -hmm. when you get in stage four. Yeah. The doctors send hospice in. And people giving up. And a lot has to do with that person's constitution. Mm -hmm. Because if they give up, I mean, it's hard to bring it's them hard, up. It's hard. It's hard. What we want to do is we want to encourage you. You yeah, know what? This hard. is what I want you to look at. I want to, like when I was talking about maintain your integrity, you just make up your mind and say, you know what? If I take my last breath, my last breath is going to be, I believe hey, God. Hey, hey. I believe I God. I believe God no matter what. No and you may sigh. What? And when it comes out, I believe God. Jesus is Lord. Then make up your mind that that's how far you're going to go. In pain, in sickness, yeah, throwing hey, up. Hey, hey. Can't don't have mm, strength. Mm. Can't get out the bed. Keep on saying, I believe God. Mm -hmm. His word is true. By his stripes, I'm healed. The prayer has been prayed. Oh, Lord, I, I love set you. myself in agreement. I love you, Jesus. I will not, I'm not going to relent. I'm not going to give up. It is written. So now when healed. you agree with the man of God, you agree with healed. us. One chase a thousand, two ten thousand. A three, four cord is not easily broken. When you got other people here, my wife and um, Pastor Margie here, we're setting ourselves in agreement that this cancer is defeated. It's got to go in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. So we'll pray. Okay. In the name of Jesus, name of we Jesus. cast you out, cancer. Yes. Amen. We cast, cast you out and don't you return. Some people have had cancer return. Amen. Yes. And they died. But I bind you up, devil. Yes. Hallelujah. Name. In Jesus' name, that cancer, you are dismissed. And uh, I tell you what, I... They say send, send it somewhere. Don't send it because it'll go somewhere. But I bind it up. I send it back to the pits of hell. Yes. Amen. I ain't going to let you just float around in the atmosphere. Yes. Amen. Then you jump on somebody else. I bind you up hand and foot. Yes. Cast you to outer darkness down and into that pit God already yes. got staged for you. <coughs> Turn loose, cancer. All type. Yes. All type of cancers. Come loose right now. That's one of the devil's uh, sc scary tools he used yes. against you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But you a lying devil. We are going to be more than conquerors. Yes. Look at that word conquer. We're going to conquer right now in the name of Jesus. Even even last night while we slept, we don't know if he tried to sow a seed. I heard Sister Vicky say the other day that, hallelujah, somebody sowed some tares. She was quoting the scripture. This man said, I planted uh, wheat. How did this tares get in there? Amen. And he might have tried to do that to you last night. Uh, 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 whoever, but I bind him up, hand and foot, that it won't have no, yes. no, no prosperity over you yes, in Jesus' Lord. name. Because you say we're two or three touching and agree, and that's what we're doing right now, Lord. I got about four in here. Hallelujah! Yes, and we Lord. praying right now against the cancer demon that's that's trying to go around and intimidate. Hallelujah! Got some people just feeling a little lump, and they say, "Oh, it's cancer. It ain't nothing but a pimple." Hallelujah! The devil trying to scare you. Praise yes. God in the name of Jesus. But what Whatever dots you sow, devil, we're going to 
beat it with God's power, yes. with the word, and then not only with the word, speak the word on it, but but we're going to speak and give instructions with the word on how to, yes. amen, we're going to whoop you, devil. God gave us all the tools to whoop you, yes, amen, Lord. and we win. Amen. Some folks say in the end we win. We win, we win right, right now, now in the name of Jesus. And I bind up all powers yes. and principalities that try to take us out before the time. Premature death, all of that is trying to come before the time. Yes, <clears throat> we curse it to the very root in the name of Jesus. Jesus Hallelujah. We Thank got to Lord. be careful because God gave, gave us power to, to speak things. Hallelujah. And Jesus spoke to the tree and it dried up, praise God. Hallelujah. I could drive cancer with the power of the Holy Ghost working through me. Yes, and I dry you up, cancer. Yes. Don't you ever come back in my body. Hallelujah. Amen. I defeated you five years ago. Yes. And now I got to work with this other arthritis now. And he yes, got to Lord. go too. All of it going to go in the go name in of Jesus. Jesus. Old generation of curses. I know that's where it come from down through our, some of our ancestors. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Because I rebuke you. And I sent it to the pits of hell yes. where it's supposed to go wind up in the end time yes. down there anyway. I'm sending you early in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Loose right now. Loose. in the name. Our children, take your hand off of them in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Our young daughters, our young sons, hallelujah, trying to get them cancer, prostrate cancer, early years. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus. Amen. And all of this, I bind it up. And men, to the men that prostrate is trying to slip up on you. In the name of Jesus, but I rebuke it. And Je you Jesus know that's a Satan. sneaky kind of cancer. It's, it don't give you too much warning. Yes, but we rebuke you, Satan. We see you under the fig tree, yes. and we curse you to the root. Hallelujah! Jesus. God gave us power to curse your works. Yes. We don't curse the person, but we curse them works yes. of the devil. Yes. Jesus came that we might destroy the works of the, devil. Of the devil, and now send it out right now that destroying power loose here off our children and off yes. our mothers and our grandmothers. And as this Thanksgiving holiday arrives, Lord, in the name of Jesus, a lot of the elderly folk ain't got no weather, they got no food to eat and things like that. I just can't help but throw a prayer in for them too, Lord. Yes, Lord. And um, people that's under the tent down up on the, uh, in California where the fires and how yes. so many people living out in tents. And then um, uh, Florida, Hurricane Michael got them folk living under little bitty tents. Hallelujah. I said, Lord, I'm so sorry. I am so sorry, Jesus, uh, that this happened. But these things, you got it under control. Hallelujah. It hurts my heart to have to look at that. But Jesus, heal it right now. Yes, in the Lord. name of Jesus, give them place people at home. It could have been me sleeping up under there with nowhere to yes, go. Lord. But I, I just had to say that, God. I'm asking for a special prayer to give those folk a place yes. to live. Hallelujah. It's getting cold out there. Some of them ain't got nothing. They ain't got children. I saw one lady holding another baby. She said, ain't got nowhere to go. But, God, I just thank you for this man of God and his ministry, Lord. It, it has really blessed me this whole day from the word of uh, God this morning all the way to the program this evening. I believe, God, that great things is happening in the spirit realm that we don't even see yet, but it's going on. And I, and I know it's some good stuff, too, God, that if we only knew. But God said, I'm going to save some for later. I ain't going to tell you everything. Now. But I believe those that we prayed for tonight, they are healed. They are delivered, yes. and they are set free. Just remember what we tell you. Yes. Keep that, that joy in you. Thank you, Lord. Give God the praise Thank through you. what you're going to. Yes, Don't meditate on the symptoms. Don't meditate it, uh, hallelujah, but just give God the praise. It's like it ain't even there in the name of Jesus. Go to get you some good sleep at night. Yes. Don't care what the doctor didn't say it. Amen. I rest good every night. Amen. I, oh, God, I just thank, thank you. Lord. And I thank you right now, God, for what you're doing and yes, have Lord. already done. Yes, and I turn it over back to the man of God yes, in Lord. case there's something he want to add to the prayer. Yes, we love you so thank much, you, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus precious name. Amen. Bishop, you call out something specifically on prostate cancer, and we do have one who's believing God for healing. Now, mm -hmm. the enemy said that one of the things that prostate cancer is very... I've heard that no one ever gets healed of prostate cancer, but that, the devil is alive. That so devil is alive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what he want to say. Yeah, but I'm trying to scare you. Here's the thing about it. I need that person. How is that person's constitution? What's coming out of their mouth? What I need you to do is we pray. We release the word. Now, man of God, I want you to go minister to your uncle 
and see how his constitution is and get him to line himself up with your words. And your words are words of life. Mm. We're going to send God's word. Have him to receive it. You command, you declare, you decree. You. Um, you heal in Jesus' name. Jesus' name. name. And you get them to agree with you. Yes, Lord. And you know what? Say this exactly like Sherry said. Can you agree with me? Uncle, can you agree with me? There's nothing too hard for God. He's able to do it. By his stripes you are healed. Just agree with me. If two shall agree concerning anything, mm. it shall be done of them of my yes, Father. Lord. He can't lie. He's yes. faithful. Hold fast your profession of faithful. And he says, because he that promised is faithful. Mm. He's faithful. And I know the fight is going to seem hard. And you know what? The devil's not going to turn loose so oh, no, easy. Yeah, yeah. But you got to keep on fighting. Yeah, hold yes, fast. And hold fight fast. the good fight of faith. Ah, yeah, yeah, and yeah, just yeah, say, yeah, look yeah, at yeah, me. Yeah. Let's hold on. So we're counting it done. Healing has already been manifest. Yeah, healing yeah. already has been ministered. So, Father, we thank you right yes. now. I believe it, Jesus. For healing. Yes, Lord. The healing. In Jesus' forth. mighty name. Yeah. And that when the man of God. Pray and talk with him. As you are laying your hands on him and minister to him, talking to him, getting him to agree with your word, it shall surely come to pass. And I'm telling you, if you got to get other people to go with you and believe God, don't get anybody that don't understand healing, don't, don't believe it. Get somebody to do and say, look, let's go take care of God's business because he commanded us to heal the sick. Let's go do what he commanded Thank us to you, do. Lord. And it shall be done it in Jesus' mighty done. name. And we're looking for the testimony Thank you, that Lord. we may give our God glory, glory and praise. You, Jesus. Listen, I know we're a little bit over time, but the Lord has been telling me this here. And I want you to he listen to me very carefully uh, because the two things that the enemy attacks us on is what? Two, sickness and what? Finances. And finances. finances. We done finances. dealt with the sickness. If there's anything that we hadn't covered, Bishop prayed a covering prayer. He says, anything. Mm, anything. Anything right. that's bothering right. you. So you receive it. Say, Lord, they didn't call out liver disease, but it's a anything. So I receive anything yeah, yeah, for me in yeah. healing. Thank you, John. But the deal is, oh. I want to talk to you about your finances. Because a lot of us, we have financial problems, but we won't do the word. Now, this is not a plea to get money. Don't matter of fact, I'm gonna command you, don't send me a dime. Don't give anything. Don't don't even think about putting anything in the mail right now. What you need to do is you gotta do what the word said do. A lot of us in financial situation because we won't trust God with it. He mm. said you, you give seed to the soul and bread to and multiply your seed sown. Mm. You can't get blessed if you're stingy or you're fearful. Amen. You Amen. can't hold on to what you got. You got to release it. Yeah. That's the word of God. Mm. If you wanna be blessed. Yeah. You're going to have to do what the word says. Yeah, do word you says. trying to hold on to what you got so God can give you more. That's called a thief and a robber. You're going to have to work God's system. You're going to have to say, okay, God, I don't have enough. Give me wisdom. And he'll say, that's a seed, that's bread. Thank that's you, a seed, that's bread. Thank now you, seek him for where to send it. And you know what? It might not even be your church. It may be a, a homeless person on the street. But you're going to have to do something if you want your finances to turn around. So if you want God to hear your finances, stop thinking with a poverty mentality that you just got to get, get, get. Well, I ain't got enough to give. Guess what? You will never have enough because you're going to have what you say. I don't have enough to give. Turn that thing around. You say, Lord, if you give me something, I've heard people didn't have anything but a pencil. They grabbed that pencil and sold it in faith, yeah. and God turned around and blessed them I've because they had to honor God mm -hmm. with something. Mm -hmm. Under the Lord, with all the first fruits of all your increase, you got to give Him something. You got to show mm -hmm. Him that, hey, Lord, I'm trusting in you. Thank and so, you, to fix your finances, you're going to have to do Thank what the Jesus. Word of God says. Do go find out what the Word says. Put the Word on your situation, your financial situation, and do it. Guess what? I'm here to tell you, he will bless your finances. But if you just say, I ain't going, I can't do that. I can't afford that. I'm not giving nobody your, my money. If you think like that, guess what? You will never be blessed because he says, my when Lord. I was hungry, you didn't mm. feed me. When mm. I was naked, you didn't clothe me. My Lord. Lord, when did I, 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 I you, you was hungry. He said, when your neighbor knocked on the door and say, can you give me this and give me that? When I was walking down the street and I held up a sign and I say, uh, please give me some food. Now, I don't help no homeless people. It's all opportunity that he give us to be a blessing to him and to give unto him. And you know what God says? You lend it unto the poor, you lend it unto me, and I'll repay. Yes, He'll Lord. repay. We yes, got Lord. to work these finances. We got to work yeah. the system. We got to do mm -hmm. the word. So don't think about what you don't have. Look in there and see what you do have. What do you have in the house? 
it may be something you say, well, I ain't got nothing. Mm. Well, instead of you pawning something to go pay your light bill or pay your rent, why don't you pawn something mm -hmm. to be a blessing to mm -hmm. go give? That's your right. church may be raising some money for certain mm -hmm. things. Go find out what you don't what you don't need, get mm -hmm. rid of it, and take it and bless the church, bless the ministry, yeah, bless the kingdom mm -hmm. of God, and then say, okay, God, I've given unto you. Good now, give to me. Good measures, press down, shaking together, running over, and cause men to give into my bosom. And watch God turn your finances Hallelujah. around. Thank because you, you can be healed in your body, but mm. if you're not healing your finances, the devil is still coming and destroy your marriage, sure having will. children acting crazy. Mm -hmm. Finances will always cause y'all to be bickering, but God wants you to be blessed. He says, I wish above all that you prosper hey, and be in hell, both of even as you're so prosper. Yeah. Look, we're well out of time, but I pray that God has spoken something to bless you. I believe that you, the bishop has had. God has used him in a mighty way to be a blessing to you. Don't forget what we say. Go back and listen to this tape over and over again. When the devil comes in and hits you like a flood, just listen to it over again and be blessed. If you know somebody that needs to be healed, share the tape with them. Send a video, whatever, and say, listen, listen at this all the way. I ain't got time for all that foolishness. So listen, you're in a life and death situation. Please listen to this. What's mm. an hour of your time if it can hey. give you 20 years of your mm -hmm. life? What's an hour of your Eternity. time if it can give you 20 years mm -hmm. of your life? Right. I, I do it. I do Thank it. You, I tell you what, you waste an hour just looking at football games and mm -hmm. television shows yeah. and everything else. Give God one hour, God. listen to this Amen. video, and say, I'm going to believe Amen. what I'm hearing. Amen. I'm going to receive the prayer of the man of God, the men of God. And I just believe that God has got a blessing for me. We'll see you Wednesday on Advancing the Kingdom. Praise God. We thank you for your time. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah.